Are you a bride to be looking for a perfect cocktail look or something for your youngsters bash? Then your search ends here cuz I am here. I'm Swati Verma here on Naka TV with Shraddha, my bride for today, and we are going to create something really classy, very sexy and high fashion. So are you ready? Let's get started guys. So guys, I'm going to begin with the CTM process, which is cleansing, toning and moisturizing. And the first step is cleansing. So let me clean her face. So I'm taking a wet wipe here. So now is the time for the toning, but I don't have a toner right now. Instead, I'll be using this Makeup Revolution hydration spray on her face. So before using a moisturizer, I'll be using the pore filler from Benefit Cosmetics which is called pore freshener. You see all the pores here. I'm going to fill this in the pores and dab it very softly in a circular motion. Do you see the difference guys? It gives an amazing instant blurry effect. So a little bit on the chin area because I see some open pores here and the T zone also. If you see here, I'll be using the Clinic Moisture Surge, which is 72 hours hydration on her face. Starting from the forehead, I in fact you know do it on the eyelid. Also, don't forget the neck because if you're gonna put the foundation later on, it's gonna get patchy. I really like when the skin is super hydrated. Some people might think that it's gonna get oily, but trust me, you do so many things in the end, and this is the perfect way to get the best makeup. As a bride-to-be, you can totally be a diva and use color contact lenses. And today, I'm gonna use these lenses, the natural looking lenses from Swati Lenses in the shade Sandstone, which is actually a perfect color for the bride. So I'm gonna ask my model to open her eyes, look up. You can see how it enhances the natural beauty of the eyes and yet looks very subtle and natural. Make sure your hands are super clean when you do this. So I always prefer to make the brides wear the lenses before, before we start the makeup so that you know you can avoid any kind of tears which is going to happen in the end. And if a person is comfortable wearing lenses, then why not? And now we're going to continue with our next step and I'll be using a casual pencil in the eyes because I don't want to take risks because sometimes you know you have sensitive eyes and it might water. I'm using a casual pencil from Nykaa. It's called Nykaa IM 24-7 on the upper water line. You can do this step later on as well, but just to avoid any kind of tears and, you know, eyes get sensitive when you're using so many products. So I prefer this step in the beginning. Now I'm going to use a primer, which is really important if you want your base to stay for a longer time. And of course, for a bride, it's a must. So this one is a silicon primer gel from Ofra. And it's going to help her skin texture to get really smooth. Now is the time for correction, which is done for correcting the dark circles, the pigmentation around the chin area, which is very common with deep skin or tan skin, uh, especially the Indian skin color. And I'll be using this product from LA Girl, which is the Pro Conceal in the shade Orange. So I'll be using a very little amount under the eyes, where I see the dark circles, wherever you see pigmentation. the acne as well and do the same on the other side. One thing you need to remember not to use too much of product, use very less product and build it. So I'm using a buffing brush to blend the product but make sure you do it very gently. If you're on a lighter side you can go for a peach corrector and for a tan skin or deeper skin I would recommend an orange corrector. And you want the product a little coverage to be there. Don't do too much of blending either otherwise the product will go away and you'll still see the gray neck. And now to cover this pigmentation, I'll be using the Nykaa Skin Shield anti pollution Foundation. It's very important that you use a similar color, this color which is exactly your skin. You can test the color here, half of the chin and the neck, and I guess it's a perfect shade for her. And I'll be also using another shade, which is on a brighter side. 
number 9 desert honey from Nika itself. We'll be mixing it with the previous shade which was 13 to make a perfect shade for her. I'll be definitely using a concealer too but this foundation is really light in coverage, it's not so thick. Now I'll be using a concealer, a high coverage concealer from Huda Beauty in the shade Granola. Make sure the extra product is not there, so blend it properly. And I'm going to cover the area which is around the chin and upper lips. So blend the concealer again. So even when you do the full coverage foundation or a full coverage makeup, you can avoid the creasing under the eyes. Now I'll be using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in the shade Banana Bread to balance, to neutralize, to smoothen everything that we have done so far. But I'm going to leave the powder, do the baking under the eyes, wherever I did correction and concealer basically. And rest of the face where I don't have to do the baking, I'm going to use the same powder and use it as a setting powder. So use a little amount and just damp it into the skin. And now is the time to do the eyes and I'm using the same concealer that I used on the face. And now it's time to do the eye makeup and I'll be using my all time favourite Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. So I've taken a crease brush and a very light shade of brown, a very warm colour and I'm going over the crease and it's actually like you know retaining those shadows back on the eyes. I want to give a transition of the colours here, of these warm colours. So I've started with the lighter colour and then I'll be going with the darkest colour. Do you see the difference between both the eyes? Like this one looks more defined. Now finally using the darkest shade of brown which is called Coco in the palette. And only doing in the corners. And don't worry about the fall off guys. That's why I've left the baking powder here. And in the end what I'm going to do is just dust it off once I'm done with the makeup. So I'm using this black matte eyeshadow from the same palette which is called Black Truffle. I've used this precise brush for the same. It's like locking the socket. Using the concealer again to create a very soft crease on the eyelid. And this is gonna give more definition to the eyes and eyes are gonna look much bigger. Now using another shade which is called Bubbly along with Moon Dust from the Huda Beauty palette on the eyelids and again I'm just dabbing. So the motion if I go in slow motion it's just like this. So fill the shadow inside the eye socket and that was the reason I created the soft crease with the concealer before so you have the direction already. I now want to create a very soft, smudge eyeliner look and I'll be using the Nykaa I'm 24-7 pencil. So for a smudge kajal look or a smudge liner look, what I'm going to do is just draw it this way first and after that use a pencil brush. Do you see how soft and beautiful it looks? And I want to do the same effect, a transition under the eyes. And now I'm going to use this pencil the roll-on pencil from Rimmel London. It's in the color nude, as I want her eyes to pop out more. Do you really see the difference in both the eyes? It looks really small as compared to this one. And now is the time for my favorite part, which is lashes. And I'm using these lashes from Pat. I'm going to put the lashes on her eyelashes, the real ones, measure the size and accordingly cut it. So I put the duo lash glue and as it dries out, I'm going to use a mascara for her eyelashes. I'm using the Voluminous Lash Mascara from L'Oreal. Instead of closing the eyes of the model or your bride or you know whosoever you're doing the makeup on, 
Ask the person to look down, just like this, and then put the lashes. And this way, the lashes are not going to stick on the bottom. And just let it dry out for a bit. I'm not going to touch it. It looks white right now, but it's going to dry out and get invisible. Now is the time to dust off all the powder, the baking powder, which we have put before. Now I'm gonna do the brows. I'm gonna use this product from L'Oreal, the eyebrow pencil. First, this part is called Spoolie. I will just brush it up. So any product like foundation or concealer or the powder, which is there, is just gonna come out. I'm just gonna define it a little bit more. And now it's a time to add more dimensions to her face. She has a really beautiful chiseled face. But I just want to add those shadows back. Mostly people, they, they say, you know, they don't like too much of bronzing and they avoid it and their face looks flat. Why? Because naturally we have shadows on our face. And if you avoid it, you know, after the foundation, foundation makes it even. So it's important to do the bronzing. And this product is the Hula from Benefit Cosmetics and here on the jawline as well. Make sure you combine it. Make an L and one L on the other side. Two threes facing each other and two L opposite to each other. Now I'm going to use the Lakme 9 to 5 Pure Rouge Blusher. Now the time to highlight and I'm using this Profusion Pro Highlight Palette. I've got so many colors to cover and for her I will be using the color which is more on a gold side and that is called Elated. So first thing is the cheekbones, I'm just highlighting this area so you see how does it look. Just adds on a really beautiful sheen. the list I just want to highlight this area but using my fingers and the same thing I'll be doing on the tip of the nose but if you feel like you know there's a bump on the nose don't put the highlight over there also if your client or your bride has more textured skin even you have you know some acne or pimples don't put too much highlighter because it's gonna highlight the acne as well for the inner corners of the eyes I'll be using the same highlighter now I'm doing the lower mascara and I'm using this angular brush for the same to avoid any kind of extra product. And now I'm going to do the lips. Uh, for the same, I'll be using the lip liner from Nika. It's got Lipstone Light in the shade Heartbreaker. So if you see, I'm doing a fuller look for the lips for her and I'm overlining the blurry line, you know, the invisible line which is there on top of her lips. And do you see the difference? This is the original lip line, and this is the one that I created. I'm gonna tell you another trick, guys. If you want the lipstick to stay for a longer time, you need to use something which is cream-based. So I'm gonna use it as a base for the lipstick. And then on top of that, I'm gonna use a matte color. This is the K-Beauty lipstick and the color is Spotlight. And I'll be using two matte shades now, one from NYX in a really darker shade, very deep shade which is called Copenhagen and the other one from Lacme and it's called Firestarter Red. Mixing these two colors, now I'm going to put it on her lips. Just being really precise on the lips because I love to make perfect lip shape. I'll be highlighting the collarbones. And now to finish this sexy look, I'm gonna use the Miss Claire Dewy Finish, which is a long-lasting setting spray. 
it has to be on a distance not too close to the face. So maybe 15 to 20 centimeters. This is the final look guys, something really sexy, very classy and a perfect look for a bride to be for your cocktail or a youngster's eve and even a gala dinner. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to Nika TV for more beauty tutorials.